Hi everyone, this is Matthew at Das Trader. Today's video series is going to be about a, a question that we got uh, here in the live chat um, from a client that was interested in knowing if I'm, uh, for example, trading uh, and I want to send an order, but I don't want to send the order until maybe a certain price is met. So let's. Um, Let's. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the uh, the trial uh, that we had set up in the first series, and we're just going to try to pick uh, maybe something that's uh, actively uh, trading uh, today. Uh, I know it's in the after hours here, but um, so let's uh, let's pick something like uh, let's do. Let's see about. Let's see, for example, Apple. For example, so first thing what we want to do is first is we want to uh, create our basket uh, basket order. Now, in the basket order, basically you can build multiple orders for a symbol uh, that you want to set up. So, for example, and I can only I don't need to set up multiple. I can just set up a single uh, order. So let me just show you. It'll make sense. So right now we what we want to do is we want to build the let's say we want to send a marketable limit order when a certain price uh, for Apple is is hit so let's do that let's go to right mouse click and go to basket trade on the watch list now if you had for example if you had your own custom uh, 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 list here so if I wanted to go ahead and uh, put something like uh, Maybe I wanted to use SPY. You could do that, and right mouse click, go to basket trade, and what you're going to get, you're going to get this window here with all the template uh, for that symbol pre-built. This is the quickest way to um, load that symbol into a, uh, a pre uh, pre-ordered uh, basket trade. So we want to go ahead and select this just by clicking on on one of these cells here, and we're going to hit. Edit, I edit, and at the bottom here, uh, you're going to have um, just an order name, a basket name. We don't want to touch that. We want to confirm this is for, uh, you know, our TR account here. And the action is going to be, let's say, we're, we want to buy a um, hundred shares of SPY at a marketable uh, limit. So we want to go ahead and put maybe a ten cents cap on this. And we want to leave these blank and the trigger blank. We want to check enable, and um, we don't need to uh, worry about the auto delete or the trigger. And then we want to go ahead and click update, and we'll notice that um, the fields have changed. So now that we've, um, this is basically a buy 100 shares of SPY at marketable limit um, with the 10 cents cap on it for for SPY. Excuse me if I said Apple excuse me that this is for SPY and then we're gonna go ahead and close this because we've already done that and then now we want to go in here and go to tools alert and triggers and keep in mind because we're setting up an alert we want to make sure that at the time the DAS is open it's connected uh, to the network and uh, that it's it's running so um, so we want to go ahead and click add add alert We want to set this up for SPY uh, when price um, uh, price reaches uh, is uh, let's say, and I want to look at the I want to look at the uh, uh, sorry we should have done this a little earlier, but I want to basically look at see let's say whenever um, the uh, the um, the last price is equal to 238.31. I want to send a marketable limit order uh, uh, for SPY. So I wanted to have that in the background so that you could see. And let me resize this. Okay, just looking at the montage there, I can see that the last is right now to 238.32. So I'm gonna go in here, go to add new item. And let's just call this uh, SPY um, uh, by marketable uh, 
uh, limit and we're going to SEC symbol that's what this stands for and that's SPY and once this alert, alert happens I don't want it to keep buying 100 shares 100 shares so I want to auto delete that and I don't want it to reset so I want to click on add on this button here to set my conditions I want to look for last sale and I want to choose that when the last sale price is, is um is at 238.33 I want to change that up because uh, for the sake of this uh, video series I want to actually show you it take effect so right now it hasn't triggered 238.33 but in case it does become bullish and somebody does try to t uh, take a piece of that then uh, you know we'll be ready for them so we're gonna go click that and then we're gonna click uh, enable auto send and our order is gonna be ready for that and click single order check single order first and then select the uh, the order name and then click OK you can check the beep and the loop and or you could have the option for uh, um, speak you can have the option to speak out loud I usually don't check that um, I just usually leave it to the beep or you can select um, a certain file by selecting uh, um, the directory that, that that wherever your WAV file is located in. We had a client who requested that he wanted to read um, the uh, he wanted to have the opening bell, uh, the mute you know that that sound to play right at 9:30. So what we did for him was you know we went in and we said okay well you can set an alert time equals 9:30, and then the the you know that file that you select you can convert the MP3. There's usually resources on the web how to convert mp3 to wave which is pretty neat um, and uh, you can you know just leave these uh, check the loop and the beep and the sound and then you want to go ahead and uh, click um, OK okay so right now our that 238.33 hasn't triggered yet and we want to always ensure that um, that we have it we're connected to DAS in the lower uh, right hand uh, there's two circles we want to always make sure that we are connected um, to DAS while this is in operation and we're just gonna um, wait and see uh, and hopefully I picked the right stock um, I know it's Friday uh, right here at uh, 5 36 p.m. Eastern but hopefully we'll get some action uh, there it is so 238 33 happened and you can see there that you know we got a little pop up there that's saying SPY buy marketable that was our limit that we set and you can see we've already acquired a position uh, because it's a limit limit type order that's a kind of a clever way of sending orders in where you can set them up where they'll always trigger uh, even in the pre-market and the post because FINRA um, FINRA rules uh, you know dictated by SEC uh, top of the food chain uh, dictates you know in after hours um, pre-market uh, post-market you can always uh, you have to set up limit orders so uh, that's the reason why um, I chose that but you could you know you could change it I just like to use marketable limits because it kind of just I just usually say okay well this is a market cap no more than 10 cents I don't want it to go out you know all out uh, on me and I want to have some kind of uh, protection um, okay so you can see and then we can go ahead and uh, you know we can choose to reset or you know click on edit but in this case I just want to hold quit quit and we can see that we've acquired the position and this is kind of important where sometimes you know you may want to step away uh, for maybe five minutes um, and just make sure you know given that you do have a connection proper stable connection that day to make sure that you're always connected but that if you do step away or you may be looking at another um, uh, another tab or another monitor uh, and something does go down and happen you can always say okay well I've acquired those positions and um, another thing is is that you want to make sure that the positions that you're acquiring um, they're not it's not like an illiquid stock where you know let's say for example that clearing firm stocks under five dollars uh, or it could just be you know Wells Fargo you know a few uh, about a month or two uh, three months ago you know they did that boo-boo over there um, 
uh, with that it was all over the news so their volatility went up and each day clearing firms judge make an assessment and they load margin requirements in there so you want to make sure that you're not loading up a bunch of uh, shares where on a stock that's high risk um, and you know just um, just be aware of the the rules you know most uh, most stocks that are you know under five have a hundred percent margin requirement just right off the bat and then so what that is it's cost times the leverage that you have in your in your account unless you have just a cash account then in that case it's a different story um, in a cash account uh, you know you buy whatever you have in your equity but uh, and if you have any questions on um, margin requirements you're free feel to email me at support at dastrader.com or uh, speak with your um, uh, licensed broker on that so that's a you know it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, I I picked uh, you know liquid stocks that generally um, are you know these large caps that generally don't have um, restrictions because uh, they're generally very liquid. I mean these are um, these are not the stocks that uh, um, get marked for uh, high margin requirements. Um, and those things change, of course. Um, you know uh, these symbols here. You know you never know. Like for example, you know dry ships is um, at dollar thirty six. So obviously this is a um, you have to you have to factor that in. That you know the it's not just a dollar. If I wanted to buy a thousand shares of this, it's not just thirteen uh, fifty. Um, it's thirteen fifty times the leverage that I have in that account. Um, so and that's why you um, you always want to make sure that the alerts that you're setting. Um, have to match, uh, you know, that reality of, you know, that understanding of margin requirements. And if it's still it's a little bit unclear in this video, you can always just hey, say, hey, Matthew, uh, I watched your video. Uh, could you send me an email about um, just a little some information about how margin requirements works? Be more than happy to um, help you out on that. All right. Well, uh, hopefully this has been um, this has been helpful. Uh, again, this video was about. I want to set up an alert while DAS is open and I want to tie a specific order um, and uh, feel free to rewind this and watch this a few times um, and uh, thanks so much for listening and I hope that uh, um, you have a good day. Thank you.